Well, this whole no theme makers talking stuff's a lot of fun, isn't it? I think it's that time of the series where we crack open the pirate stuff for ships and giggles. I said ships. Oh, it's episode six. You're still here. I'm not mad yet. And yes, we're building Gypsy Point with no theme makers target items. None at all. Nothing. Zero. And yes, I miss desk B too. <gasps> but onwards and upwards, we've got a couple of episodes left on this series. We are finishing the mainland today with this little butte of a log flume and a pirate themed area. And I'm so excited for this one. I've just been researching all sorts of stuff that I wanted it to be. I've got a couple of ideas, but it's a nice simple log flume. Look at it. There's the station. We're going to come out of an S bend into the lift hill, into the first drop, first of two drops, tiny, tiny, teeny, teeny, tiny, teeny little drop. Uh, and we come around the outside here and then we come up a larger lift hill and then into the main drop into the main pool and then back around into the station really really simple it's almost like it's a traveling version of a log flume the supporting area then two rides we have ourselves the rocktopus and of course we've got the whirly rig there she is uh, and then of course we've got a couple of shops so there's going to be a shop here just to hide all of the backstage stuff from this area and of course chacho toilets there you go. So that will finish off the main street. So I'm not going to talk anymore. Let's get straight on with it, shall we? See you in a minute. Wow, this kind of got out of control very, very quickly. And I mean, I know I started off with a pretty clear idea with what I wanted it to be. It kind of ran away with me very, very quickly. And I mean, these two buildings here, we'll talk about those in a moment. They don't look anything like I thought they were going to. And actually, they look better than I had even in my head. But we'll start over here with the log flume. And I mean, we've got Portons Park to thank for this one because they are installing a log flume. So it kind of gives you a little bit of a clue as to how they're installed and how they're going to sit. So I started off by doing all of the concrete channeling and stuff. And yeah, it's uh, three windows that are put together. Um, I always do this with the concrete pieces for theme makers toolkit so that's kind of what i've done here i didn't have to do it but it kind of makes it what it is now forgive the fact that you can clearly see the three windows i actually quite like it like there's multiple ways that you can do this you could have just not done any channeling whatsoever and had the dirt going straight up to the trough I could have used the smaller window. There's like lots and lots of different things I could have done here. And I've chosen I've chosen this method. And that's partly because it's actually relatively easy to work with around these corners, right? So I put all the channeling in and I thought, okay, I'm going to put the dirt in just so I can get a feel for how this is. And I always wanted this bit here sticking out into the water. I needed it to make sense. And of course, when I put all the foliage and stuff along here, it's going to make a lot more sense than it currently does. So I've put all that, uh, I, I put all that stuff in. And then, of course, I did all of the backstage area and sort of thought, started to think about how all the tanks and whatever would work. Now there would be, as you can see, the troughs underneath here that capture all the water that end up at the bottom of the lift hill here and then they would go into the tanks and they'd get recycled, recircled uh, and they would go up to the top here and then come down this way. And of course we've got two 
uh, we've got two lift hills here, so I've got this second one, and then I've got a couple of tanks, filtration tanks that are going on in here. There wouldn't, I don't think there would be much, well, actually I think there probably would be much water. I was, about to say, I was just about to say I didn't think there'd be much water here because of the station, but actually it's quite a bit of run between the bottom of the pool here and down here, and the water has to go somewhere when the ride is off, so yeah, okay, maybe you would have a, a little bit of, a little bit of runoff going on uh, and then the station wise battle galleons called they want everything back <laughs> and that is exactly what i'm going for here now i knew that the um that the the first drop was going to come up and over the top of the station uh, so i kind of always had this castly kind of vibe going on uh, here so battle galleons is the perfect example of this so i do need to just do some uh, stuff now i have had a crash so i don't know if what you're seeing now is going to be vastly different to what the time lapse was showing um i think it might be but it's fine we're working with it like it, <laughs> it is what it is and i am taking some creative liberties here i know that in theory i need to keep this person on show and stuff but you know what i'm done with fighting with the game to make it perfect i just want to do my own thing <sighs> so that's what i'm doing renegade <laughs> i'm not even sorry <laughs> and then of course i've got all of the uh all of the, the pirate ships and stuff as i said around this area it's not done of course it's not done um there's lots of stuff to do but yeah this is then how it looks from the queue line uh, and from the main entrance area i i've put in all the broken brickwork and stuff i love it right i absolutely love it and i also uh, someone mentioned this trick the other week uh for, forgive me i don't remember who you are i'm so sorry i should have written it down um about the using the burial mounds as dirt where you don't want to use the actual dirt right and i thought that is genius for something that i've got coming up and that's why i wanted to create an actual diagonal mound so that's what i've done here rather than there being this huge gap or huge height difference between the top of the concrete and the queue line down here i've actually st i've put in the um the dirt here now i can't use actual terrain because it clips through the bottom of the log flume so this is the this is the next best thing and then i just use the rock work here just to give it a little bit of um a little bit of personality to hide the misdemeanors a little bit of course i need to fill in the gaps and stuff that they're living here and i need to find a way of dealing with this i think i'll probably end up just using terrain and stuff so queue line then uh, custom fence going on uh, it's a really simple affair it's nothing particularly special uh, it's just a couple of beams and a couple of planks and it is it is what it is and of course this entire area does need full kitting out like i don't know what i'm going to put on here maybe a donk if you know why <laughs> <laughs> if you know what I'm talking about, we can be friends. <laughs> uh, so let's let, let's talk about these buildings. So I wanted to do a different style of pirate. Like you guys see me do pirate a lot, and you've seen me do a lot of different pirate styles. But ultimately, they all live in the same kind of pirate universe, don't they? I steal from Gardenland quite a bit, and I thought, no, I actually want to do something completely different. I haven't stolen so much from this one. I've taken inspiration from, but it's not completely stolen. Um, I just started playing, right? I started to have a look at how roofing and stuff works on pirate buildings, and this this is what uh, this is what came about. And then I wanted an archway here. I always knew I wanted to have some kind of an archway in the building, and I ended up using the uh, the uh, adventure mouth. I think it is genius absolutely works perfectly because then when you turn it on its side you then get this brickwork and it just looks so 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 good i'm like yes and then we've got the baroque balcony up here absolutely perfect for what i wanted it to be i need to touch it up and stuff of course i do but uh yeah like i dig how this is and then inside here i'm keeping it really simple uh i have done something i don't normally do and i've got two tone wall not two tones but like two step walls here i don't know if you can see it but this one is stepped forward from this one i'm like okay i'm gonna try something different in the interior just to give it a little bit of life and then of course our friends <sighs> walls barn doors as walls absolutely save your backside every single time because yes 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 uh so loving it down this way then i've started to put the landscaping in so i know what the area is going to be and then over here i started to put some of the floor coverings down I'm, I'm going for a yellow here i want this to feel like it's kind of sandy um and in the time lapse i did have some kind of central thing here with rock work after the crash i decided to not put it back in 
and I'm all right with that, right? I actually think that area needs to be a little bit more open. Uh, but yeah, I wanted to go for the sand, but to break it up, I've also used the uh, the stonework and stuff along here. This is going to be a bit of a patio area with some uh, picnic benches and whatever, because I don't want to be cluttering up the main area because it's not actually that wide. And then Chacho Toilets. Oh, I love this building. Like, uh, when I started building it, it was facing the other way. So this side was the other side right and I thought actually no you need some kind of something to look at as you're walking through here especially as this was always this was always going to be a picnic area so that's what that's what I've done here but using the the mix of the stucco and the stand, sandstone wall and then the the wooden beams and stuff just absolutely works perfectly for this for this build like I can't wait for the roof and stuff to go on because then it, it will all just it'll all just come to life um and I don't know if I'm going to use this brickwork effect over here feels like I should do for consistency but I don't know if it's going to make it too busy so let's let's play it out and see what happens anyway and then it is side here now it doesn't have anything in here right uh, we know this already but these these panels remember last week I told you about the panels I found the facades from the uh, I don't know if it's Ghostbusters pack I think it is the Ghostbusters pack uh, absolutely genius and I'm using the brick one in here and then of course I'm also using the uh, the wall the Barn doors as walls, and then I'm just going to need to put in the the stuff for the toilets. And then elsewhere in the area, I've just put all of the fencing and stuff in for the two uh, for the two rides, and uh, I now just need to bring it all together. So this is how it is from the top. It's coming together all right, isn't it? I'm quite enjoying it. See you in a minute, guys. Oh, guys, I think I'm ready to call it. I think I've just invented a whole new genre of theme park area and I'm going to call it Cute Pirate because this just sits at the back of the park. It's unassuming. It's all teeny tiny and it's pirate themed and it's all cartoon like and I love it. I have so fallen in love with how this is, especially like the sight lines from the area from down here with the log flume in the background and these buildings. Oh, these buildings have turned out so, so nicely, like so much better than I thought they were going to be now. The roofs and stuff are on and it's all finished and yes, and talking of sight lines, I wanted to show this to you as well. Although this is going to be a little bit janky, uh, when you come down to sort of peep level and you walk through the trees, you get some pretty, pretty awesome sight lines, right? So you come through this way. And you've got the ship shipwreck in front of you and then you've got the uh, spinning coaster on the right hand side and then when you continue walking this way it opens up to having the stand-up coaster on the left hand side and then you just get, get sort of like taken through this area you get some really really good interactions with the spinning coaster and then it just opens up into the pirate area and it just sort of like wraps up around itself and I think this is the beauty of this area it just feels complete because of the way that it wraps so yes like just yes let's talk about the uh let's talk about the log flume then I've kept this really simple and unassuming I know that we're making a lot of effort with a lot of our rides but I feel like this is kind of like a traveling log flume that would, would have been made permanent. Perhaps it was one of the first original rides that was here. So they haven't really made all of that much effort with it. But all it needs is a little bit of theming slapped around. 
and you're done with it, right? And I'm totally okay with that. Like, this is all I want this to be. A bit of foliage just to give it a bit of bulk and a bit of age. And happy days. Off you go. The stand-up... The stand-up. The maintenance areas have all been done up and stuff that's all got its uh, got its stuff in here then of course the station has just got a little bit of light theming going on so a little bit of like spattered around pirate stuff just to give it the vibe some music just to give it a bit of atmosphere but ultimately it's kept nice and simple and i'm so glad that i chose the the pirate fort style for this because like even this broken wall and how that interacts with that drop and how this just does feel like it's an absolutely obliterated pirate thing Oh, yes, I am so here, so here for it. And I've, I love the challenge, right? We absolutely keep punishing ourselves with this because we keep going over the top with theming whilst having banned theme makers toolkit. And it's a proper, proper challenge. And by the way, 7,000 hours in this game. I have got 7,000 hours. And it was only today that I realised that these, uh, these flags actually change with the rotation. Like, look... Right, I'm about to blow your minds. I'm about to absolutely blow your minds. So there you go. It's kind of drooping. And then when you move it down, it no longer droops. And I don't know how to take that information. <laughs> so I'm learning so much in this park since uh, I'm forced to do stuff that I never thought I'd ever do. <laughs> so there you go. <laughs> you can have that one for free. You're welcome. So the queue line then, uh, I actually wanted to use a different queue te uh, texture. So I've thrown down the uh, thrown down the slabs and stuff, and it looks it looks good. I have put a cucumber in here. I don't tend to do cucumbers, but this just kind of comes with the game, right? And it feels like it needs it. Then I've put some lighting in. Happy days. Off you go. Then we come to ah uh, yes, this building. So this building is a bit of a PS de la resistance because it all started when I was like. How am I going to do this roof? What happens if I set this back? And that's exactly what happens when you set it back. And you just get this really, really nice effect that's uh, that's, that's going on. And then when you have a look at uh, this bit, you've... Oh, I love it. Like... I don't even know how to describe it, right? That's how that's how enamoured I am with this. And I know, like, you might be looking at it and going, yes, yeah, so what, Chacho? Well done. <laughs> You've done a building. <laughs> but given I've got a reputation for boring square buildings, this is just a less boring square building. <laughs> and I'm happy with that. I'll take it. And inside here, I've just given it a bit of pirate, uh, pirate personality, you know. There's nothing major and stuff going on in here. What I have done down here, though, is I've actually buried some um, cash machines in here and I've made them look like they're self-serve units because I want them to be kind of functional and I want them to kind of be there, right? So that's what I've done I'm, and I'm happy with that. Guests do use them. I do just need to put some kind of uh, image and stuff on here to actually make it look like a self-serve unit. So I'll come back and, uh, and, and retrofit that. But yeah, guys, look. <gasps> Oh, wait, hang on, camera. Look, yes, 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 yes. And I think it's like even just this um, crow's nest at the back that just kind of gives it that cartoony kind of vibe. It, it's not serious. Don't take You don't take this area seriously. And then I did decide as well that because I was going to use the sand texture on here, and this is probably painted concrete and stuff, I wanted to break it up slightly. So this is what I did. I put the sandstone roundels that I've done elsewhere, right? Uh on the ground so it breaks up the area and then i'm i'm actually using the fountains uh i wish they would we we could recolor them i wish they weren't like the the light gray but do you know what they fit quite nicely in that area and then we come to the toilets Cha -cha toilets guys this just look at it yes like you again you might look at it and go yeah, it's not that impressive Chacho. chill out right but i'm chuffed like <laughs> this is a, a not boring square building and it actually looks the part it's different to all of the pirate stuff that i've done in the past and that's what i was going for i didn't want to just regurgitate all of the the stucco pirate stuff that i've that i've done this um picnic area down here worked out absolute treat love it and then inside hang on let's just get a better camera angle can i get even further yeah there you go uh, so inside here with the brick and the wood and everything and the people walking through the wall stop it uh, <laughs> it just looks the part and i'm loving it right and then this side is just a carbon copy but it's it's mirror image reverse uh this door here is absolutely 100 percent going to cause confusion amongst stupid guests they are going to try and go through it and i don't even care uh the, the door was needed to finish off this whole uh, this whole image and this whole look so 
yeah, whatever. <laughs> and then we come down this way. I have changed the colour of the octopus. It felt like it needed it. And again, I wanted to break up the idea of this um, polished concrete surface, right? So... All I've done here is I've put down the roundel in the middle. Uh, I did want to put water, but I couldn't make water work. So I've just put the roundel down. And then I've put the blue bits down as well, just to sort of break it up a little bit. But ultimately, queue line is really simple. The ride is really simple. This doesn't need the same effort that we put in over here with uh, the the Skyfly or whatever you call it, right? Where we, where we actually gave it a bit of a theme and a bit of stuff. Uh, because this isn't a... A headline attraction ride this it, it's just it's just there and then of course you've got our friend whirly rig that's sitting in the background there loving life <laughs> i didn't want to change the colors on here it's just these colors are just synonymous with whirly rig aren't they so yeah and then i put the round all here and then another, another tree it definitely felt like it needed something you sort of you get such good interactions here that I didn't want this to be open. I wanted it to feel a little bit enclosed to him. Emphasize this curve that you've got here. So that's what we're going for. Uh, and then, of course, I've just tidied up this area. If you remember, um, I put all the picnic benches around this way. But that was before we knew what was coming into this area. So I hope you do enjoy this because... I'm going to need you guys to let me know what, what you think, right? Because I like this. I think it finishes off this corner of the park just nicely. They squeezed in what they can. So let me spoil next week. And actually, there's two things that I could do. But I think I'm actually going to go with this one. Actually, there's two rides there. Hang on. There you go. I'm going to go with this one. So oh, that's all you're getting. That's all you're getting. Right, guys, thank you, thank you, thank you for getting to the end of the episode. There's the area from the top. Really do appreciate it. Uh, of course, you know you know what to do. Leave a like, leave a comment. If you haven't already subscribed, please do. 25,000 subscribers and we're going to go back through the park with the Theme Makers Toolkit Pass. I don't think it's going to be intense, you know, but hey, it is what it is. Uh, let's go for a ride on the log flu. Have a good week. I will see you next week. Take care, guys. Bye!